I might make a few enemies with talking about endogenous DMT. Um, but there is this idea of like, just hyperventilate as hard as you can, breathe in and squeeze your muscles. And then you have, you can have really profound experiences. And then sometimes people make the shortcut and say, that means that your body produces endogenous DMT. And this is why you have this trippy uh, consciousness expanding experience. Now, I have nothing against these breathing techniques. I teach them. I teach my coaches how to use them safely. I practice them myself. But there's a leap where you go from, well, actually, if you hyperventilate, you hold your breath and you squeeze, what you get is a sudden surge of blood pressure to your brain while there is a lower delivery of oxygen in your brain. So yes, you're going to feel dizzy and you're going to feel weird and it can feel really amazing, but this is not necessarily because DMT is produced. And I think one thing that we need to be aware of is to be aware of what we want to believe. Because I am very well aware that I want to believe that endogenous DMT can be triggered by breathing. And I am open to it. And I hope that, it's, that it will be scientifically shown soon. But because I want to believe it, I have to question it extra. So in general, all the ideas that are going through the, the scene that just sound like such nice explanations. And you're like, this sounds so good. It makes so much sense to me. I really want to believe it. Those are the ones we have to question the most.